Tesla is currently capable of turning out about 5,000 electric vehicles each week when at maximum capacity, which is a huge leap forward from this time last year, yet far from the estimated figures of this time next year. The rate at which production has grown has been exponential, and this has been partly due to the surge in demand for electric cars and the increase in interest and popularity for the brand. But how has Tesla, a very young company compared to the established brands, succeeded in ramping up its production in such little time? To understand how, we must first understand why, and we're faced with the time-old question of which came first, the chicken or the egg. In this instance, we ask whether the interest in stepping away from fossil fuels came to light first, or whether it was the launch of companies like Tesla which introduced new possibilities that fueled the pro-electric anti-fossil fuel debate. Regardless, Tesla was a huge success with wealthy customers hitting the mass market in the early 2010s with its Model S. By the end of the decade, the affordable Model 3 meant electric cars could be put in the hands of many average consumers. Opening up this door created a huge surge in sales for Tesla, putting CEO Elon Musk under incredible stress to meet targets that, a few years back, would have been frankly unachievable. A new plan of action needed to be devised, and quickly. Elon Musk first implemented autonomy in his factories on a large scale with the production of the Model S later in 2017. But this was deemed to be unsuccessful, as are many first attempts at anything, especially this challenging. Nevertheless, the factory was a far cry from its state in 2010 when purchased from General Motors. But when the Model 3 launched and demand skyrocketed, it was time for the company to have another crack at speeding up the process. In a haste to assemble more cars, and at quite a precarious time for the company financially, the company assembled a giant tent outside its factory in Fremont, California. This allowed about a quarter of a million Model 3s to exit the facility in 2019 alone. The production line was designed to be simple, with many parts entering this final stage pre-assembled and shelf-ready. It will be a case then of fitting an entire seat assembly rather than the frame, the material and the stitching. Footage shows entire dashboards being installed, with the infotainment display already in place. The production line is made up of just 43 steps, which is said to be between a quarter and a third of the amount of steps employed in traditional auto manufacturing. It may come as no surprise that the futuristic warehouses are full of robots. In fact, more than 1,000 robots are employees of the Model 3 body shop. They're said to improve accuracy while reducing the time spent on each vehicle. So far, this has been true. It's said that panel gaps have notably improved, which put the current generation of Teslas in line with the Germans, which are said to be the golden standard of manufacturing. So on top of this, the car bodies exit the process a lot more clean. This means that fewer imperfections and inconsistencies to texture and tone are seen on the raw metalwork before the paint is applied, helping to deliver premium quality. While the robots help the cars go from an empty shell to a functioning vehicle in as little as 90 minutes along a short 1,000-foot journey, Musk hasn't cut all star from its factories. There are certain jobs humans can do better than machines, include looking after the machines themselves. Musk famously said that you can't have people in the production line itself, otherwise you drop to people speed. What he means by this is that the production line can only work as fast as its slowest component. And with humans being the slowest component of any production line, he aims to eradicate them where possible. People will maintain the machines, upgrade them and deal with anomalies, he said. Currently, only the human brain is capable enough of problem solving. Elon Musk's goal for 2020 and the years to follow is to produce 1 million cars per year. And although this year looks to be a figure around half that, it's safe to say it's been anything but a normal year. Still, a 36% increase over the previous year is nothing to be ashamed of. To produce the world's population of Model 3s from a tent in California would be impossible, which is why production will be spread globally to satisfy various markets. It's been mentioned that there could even be a gigafactory located in each inhabited continent of the planet, and that might not be a distant dream. The Shanghai-based warehouse was built on an empty plot entirely from the ground up in less than a year, and its Berlin counterpart is expected to open its doors even quicker. While many automakers outsource many stages of their vehicle's production, such as stamping, which involves bending the metal panels into shape, Tesla aims to cut the costs by doing all of this in-house. Musk openly admits that there have been teething problems with the new autonomous style of assembly. There have been instances where steps have had to be repeated, for example, after an error spotted by human eye has been identified. But the process relies heavily on artificial intelligence and machine learning, which both help the self-healing of any errors and induce constant improvement. We know the company has the ability to collect masses of data about its cars and their users, but what is discussed less so is that it collects much of its data from itself, including its assembly machinery. Even so, autonomy and robotics are in their infancies. Developing things like computer vision, which refers to how a computer sees and interacts with its environment, will help increase the production line's dependency on these, which although incur huge upfront cost, are cheaper in the long term to employ. 
Various visits have taken place in Tesla factories, and the results have been promising. Many write or talk of their positive experiences and report on the reality of the autonomous machinery's efficiency. Some have suggested that the company could easily accommodate a 10,000 weekly production figure in the very close future with a little tweaking and growth, and that's just from one factory. We must also remember that, for many of its first years, Tesla was building and adapting processes just like these behind closed doors when the company wasn't so much in the public eye. Being somewhere between a car and a tech company, Tesla works remarkably different to any other car manufacturer. Not only is CEO Elon Musk writing a new way of assembling cars, but he is rewriting the process for the entire industry. Pioneering at the forefront of this new era, it's only a matter of time before we see other car companies adopt a similar process. Although customers are waiting weeks and sometimes months for the latest model, much of this time is spent in the shipping phase, and that's after the backlog of other people's orders has been cleared. The car itself is ready in as little as three to five days. That means when more facilities are in place globally, ownership could happen in just a few weeks, and who knows, maybe one day, just days. All of this is truly impressive, but what's most important to you when you buy your next car? Reduced waiting times and associated costs are a huge benefit financially, but at the loss of potentially thousands of assembly jobs. Or maybe it's time for the auto manufacturing industry to catch up with production lines in other industries, which have already become more reliant on autonomy.